What's up gamers, welcome to today's video. Uh, today guys, we're going to be discussing how to get pressure in Madden NFL 16. We're going to show you a blitz that's going to come in off the left edge at the quarterback. Blitzes off the left edge are typically best to be used in situations where the formation is stronger to the right. And uh, so this does no, uh, nothing too crazy here, but big nickel bear. And uh, what we want to show you, and I go back and forth on what plays I like to use. Uh, the middle plug 2 is a good one. The storm red is a good one. Um, you can do it from all these plays, but I just want to show you it uh, from a base of a cover 3. So cover 3 base, what we want to do here, base a line. We want to crash our defensive line down. We want to spread our linebacker, or excuse me, we want to pinch our linebackers. Sorry. We'll pinch our linebackers. And we want to take this corner, McCray, put him straight down. And we want to use this safety. And you should see some pressure at the quarterback. And there we got the B gap, loops in, nice and clean. Uh, and we'll show it to you again. Basically, every now and then you'll get different pressures to come. And uh, it, it has to do with the slant angle of Sean Lee. What you can do, also, is keep the quarterback contained, and we'll see how that looks here. I haven't actually tried this, but I just kind of want to show it just to see if it'll work. And the quarterback contained doesn't really work as well. So just note that, um, you know, if you're playing a mobile quarterback, you may not want a quarterback contain every play. But again, the setup, cover three. I'm going to base the line. I'm going to crash your defensive line down. I'm going to pinch your linebackers. I'm going to hot blitz. This guy, McCray, you can actually do this through the individual quick adjustments. And uh, grab him and just blitz him straight down. And you should see, we should get some pressure. And that time we got picked up. Uh, you saw the first time we called it, it did come in. So I think that part of the way practice mode works is that it picks up the pressures, um, you know, if you run them over and over again. And I think there is a way to alleviate it. Let me see. One extra step you may have to do. And it looks like there is. So part of the pros problem and reason that this blitz gets picked up a little bit is because of the blitz angle of the linebacker on the outside. And so if you want to simply just uh, globally blitz him straight down and then pinch him, you'll see this. You see this is kind of what we're looking at. And we'll see how this works. Should get that pressure. Wow. That's practice mode for you. Um, like I said, this normally will work. Uh, one thing you can also do, and I just, I don't, I'm trying to get it so that we don't have as many setups. But one thing you can also do is kind of swing this guy out a little bit. And then what I like to do is um, bluff blitz. And you'll see that the pressure's a little bit more consistent. Um, but that's kind of that with the cover three. Like I said, just a simple play. Um, not much to it. Just a, you know, a really simple pressure uh, that we've got here for you. So that's the video for you guys. I uh, just wanted to show this off. And uh, I think the most consistent way, real quick, and, and I just and just, in, just in looking at this from a scenario of if, the, if they start picking it up, is uh, if you just crash your defensive line, so if we spread our line, and we normally crash them down, but if you want it to be more consistent for that edge, the reason we crash them down is we can sometimes get A-gap, but if you want to crash them to the right, the edge pressure will be very consistent, um, and I, I believe it will work again, let's see. And here you're going to see you're going to get that nice gap pressure. Uh, so just depending on how the offensive line is going to pick it up, it's really going to depend on what we get from the pressures, but uh, the key is to crash it to the right instead of crash it down. So I apologize for making that mistake. But here you see we get that nice B gap pressure if they do pick that up. So a really nice overload blitz. I really like this one. I like the, the formation a lot too. Um, so so definitely check it out. Uh, it's, an, it's an interesting formation. may give you some success here. We're going to try a couple, a couple things new here just to see how it works. Uh, but anyway, so that's the video, guys. Just wanted to show this off. Big Nickel Bear, a little blitz from the left edge. We'll put the setup in the description for you so it's easy to find. Uh, like I said, we showed you a couple times. The blitz does work. I know we've had some trouble with some of our blitzes this year. Uh, some of them haven't quite worked as well. So trying to get you more consistent pressures um, that, you know, maybe send more people. But at the end of the day, you're getting better pressure. And um, so... So just trying some stuff out here in the lab. Just wanted to show this off here. Uh, and like I said, if you see the pressure not working sometimes, it's because I'm trying all sorts of different variations of pressure, uh, and I'm trying to bring it with contains. I'm trying to bring it with bluff blitzers um, and things, things of that sort. So, so but just interesting, just interesting things here. So.